Today we are going to take up one of the most important topics in our class 10 syllabus which is the formal letters and we are going to specify this formal letters to the letters of complaints. So we would first have a look at the division of marks for the formal letters. This is really really important for you people to know the exact division of marks that is given by the boards while you are writing one formal letter. The marks division is the format which has the sender's address, the drill date, the receiver's address, the subject, the heading, the salutation and the complimentary close. All of them together have one mark. But please do remember, though while writing the format right, you are getting one mark. If you do not maintain that format, the whole formal letter is a zero for you. Without format, the formal letter is nothing. And it's upon the examiner what your mind is going to do with that formal letter. So please keep that in mind that though format contains one mark, it is really important to maintain the format, otherwise, there is no meaning at all of the whole formal letter. Now, coming to the content, the content contains four marks. And the expression, which is the grammatical formation, the kind of vocabs you are using, the language you are using, whether it is apt to the context or not, all these kind of things contains three marks. So that makes it A. Okay, one mark for format, one mark for content, and three marks for expressions. Now, uh, as we are going to read today about the complaint letter or a letter of complaint, we will first come to know about what is a letter of complaint. A complaint letter is a type of letter written to address any type of wrongdoing, offense, grievance, resentment arising out of product, service, etc. For example, uh, say you order something from Amazon or Flipkart or any, any other kind of those uh, online shopping apps or online shopping portals and something come up really negative for that. You get something else or like you made a huge order for an office or for some purpose and the order comes up bad. So what you do, you click the replace button or you click the return button on the board. But if you place a huge order, there is no uh, place for those reply and return because then you have to write to the organization or to the company to about your grievance and your resentments that why you want your product to be taken back or you want a replacement of that product. For that you write a complaint letter. It is used to raise your concern about unfair things and seek a productive outcome. Say for example you are traveling by an airline and that airline is not being able to give you proper or appropriate uh, timing, appropriate behavior of the staff, or maybe not enough uh, comfort. So for that, you want to show your grievance. Grievance means when you are not happy with something, you are having a grievance against that. So you are showing that, then you are writing a letter of complaint to the authority of that airline. Now, it is fundamental right and duty of a citizen to seek justice arising out of any injustice and the first step towards is filing a complaint. Now, all of you must have heard in our day that there are several ads in the TV about the consumer forum. Now, who are the consumer? We are the consumers. We are the customers, right? Customers are the consumers. We are consuming these goods which are available in the market and that is why we are consumers. Whenever we are having any problem with any kind of products, we as consumer can protest and file a complaint in the consumer forum and they were going to deal with that company legally. For example, there is a product in the market which says that it will grow your height very fast. Okay, You have several other problems in your body. You have less uh, blood uh, in your body and you have uh, diabetic problems and all those kind of problems you have and you take that medicine or that product which says that it will go your height very fast okay and after taking that you have several other problems in the body and your growth also does not increase at all so you can definitely go to the consumer forum and over there you can file a complaint for that you have to write a complaint letter it influences the concerned authority to take proper for action, right? Say, for example, a uh, few days back we were having some problem with fruity and some problem with Cadbury's, right? So, in those cases, you have to make the companies aware that okay, the public.
baffling is for the consumers are facing this kind of problem. Then these companies, which are very big companies, the two names are taken very big. There must be some productivity falls. So there must be some production uh, falls in the companies or in the production procedure, in the manufacturing procedure, so that they can take care of the matter. So it is also important for the concerned authorities to take proper action through your complaint letter. And that is that is the reason why you write a complaint letter. Now, uh, the various topics on which the complaint letters are written are, say for example, number one, incomplete or defective order, as I mentioned before. Number two is abnormal delay in sending the consignment. So you have ordered uh, a, 15, uh, a pack of 15 ACs for your office and the order has been delayed. Uh, what happened to me, as my personal experience I would say, I ordered some medicine for my grandson. And as you know, medicine is a very necessary thing. Uh, thing and that got delayed, the other got the order got delayed, and every day it becomes very hard to handle that situation when medicine gets denied. So, I can definitely file a complaint for an for old man. So, I can definitely file a complaint against that uh, app or against that organization saying that there is a delay in sending a consignment. Number three is goods arrive in damaged condition, which you always have seen in Flipkart, Amazon, and all these kind of online portals. Number four is the goods are different from what we have ordered, what we have ordered. Quantity of good is not what we have ordered. Goods are delivered to wrong address. Work taken is done unsatisfactorily. Misbehavior of staff or salesmen. Say, so if you visit uh, one of the device, uh, huge device shop in a shopping mall, and the, uh, the, the salesperson over there misbehaves with you. So, obviously, you can file a complaint against the salesperson uh, to that company. Okay? So, misbehavior of staff or salesperson can also be a reason behind complaining or also be a reason behind writing a letter of complaint. Right? Next is um, mistake in preparing the invoice. Defective packing that might lead to damage of goods in transit. Say, for example, uh, you are ordering a set of uh, fine for China uh, crockery is from somewhere in London. Okay, and when it is arriving, you are finding that the packaging was not good at all. Your things are not broken, but the packaging was not good. It could have been broken. So you immediately file a complaint to the company that your packaging should be better because afterwards some other customer may also have that problem. Okay, mistakes in a bill or reminder of payment after the bill has been paid. Like you have already paid 20,000 rupees and they are asking again for that. So there is a mistake in the bill. Okay, and there are many other reasons for that. Why you write that? That's it. Now I will straight away go to the format. The strict format to record with is number one to the extreme left hand side would be the sender's address. Who's the sender? Sender is the person who is sending or who is filing the content. Over here, when you are going to be writing this letter, you will be the sender. Left hand side, just next to the margin, will be the sender's address. Now, please keep one thing in mind. Previously, the format was according to the handwritten format, but now we maintain the block format. As now we nowadays we do not write any letters by hand. Everything we type and we just do it through computer. And when you will replace that enter after one line, the cursor moves back to the beginning of the next line to the extreme left hand side, right? Whenever we put enter, the cursor does not come up in the middle of the feet. It comes up at the extreme end of the left hand side. That's why whatever new paragraphs, new lines, new things we have to start, everything would be from extreme left hand side. Next comes the date. Leave one line below the sender's address and start again exactly next to the margin. Do not write date, DAT date, then give a dash in 15, 7, 20, 21. You would not write the word DAT date and 15, 7, 2, 0, 2, 0, no. It would be either like 15 July 2020 or July 15, 2020. And do not write or mention the word DAT date. Next is number three, that is the receiver's address, to whom you are writing the letter. 
Okay, leave one line after the date. And after date also you're going to leave one line and write the address of your recipient. Okay, number four is the subject. Now this is the most important part of the letter. If the subject is not properly written, maybe your letter is not being uh, is not going to be read by the authorities or not going to be read by the company to whom you're writing the letter. You have to select the words very deliberately and very uh, specifically while you're writing. The subject and please remember subject will be written leaving one line after the receiver's address and extremely large inside if we start you would write the word subject this time s u b j e c t subject then a dash and please remember the purpose of the letter will be written here within seven to eight words max okay if not maximum 12 words seven to eight words i'm keeping as maximum if you're still not being able to write it like that, keep it within 12 words but please do not by any means exceed the limit of 12 words okay Number five is the salutation, which is respected, sir, or madam. But you are going to write respected only to those people whom you feel like giving respect to. Like, for example, if you're writing to the BDO, if you're writing to the municipality head, if you're writing to the editor, if you're writing to the principal, then only use these words respected. Please, there is no need to express respect to a person whom you don't know who is the head of some company or some head of some app or head of some organization like that or with, with whom you have complained. Don't have to write respect. You can just write sir, oblique, madam. That will be enough. And please do not use the word dear because using dear is kind of obsolete nowadays. You don't need to use the word dear comes the body. The body is really important and please as from class 9 I'm telling you people the body would have or should have or must have three paragraphs whether it contains anything or not but it should definitely contain three paragraphs. What are these? It starts exactly from the next line. There is no leaving line behind after the salutation. Okay, After you write sir or madam or respected sir or madam, there is no leaving lines after sir or madam. Comma, you will give after sir or madam and exactly next line left inside corner, you are going to start your body of the letter. Body should always be in three paragraphs. First paragraph, what are your first paragraph, what are you writing? You would introduce yourself, who you are, where are you from, and you would in brief, in one or two lines, you just one line you just think you would give the purpose of writing the letter. The, the summary that you have given it in the subject that only you are going to give along with your introduction in the first paragraph. You should introduce yourself like I, this, my name is this. I, that, my name is that, from here, is writing this letter for this purpose. Full stop, first paragraph, end. Even if it is three lines, two lines, that is your first paragraph. You don't have to worry about it. Second paragraph is extremely left inside again. No middle of the page. The second paragraph is starting. Remember, the cursor does not, after enter, come to the middle of the page. It goes back to the extreme left inside margin. Okay. So the matter in detail would be included over here. Everything that you want to, like you have an order number, you have a shipment number, you have a customer ID, you have a phone number to be given, you have some email address to be supplied. All these kind of things, all these numericals, data, all this detailed information that you are going to post or write down in the second paragraph. But do not write down unnecessary things in the paragraph just to make it bigger or just to make it look longer. You don't have to be dadiji and tell stories to the organization over here. Okay? You just have to give the details which are necessary. Remember, this is a formal letter. Formal means no informal words or no unnecessary use of elaboration. No need to elaborate something. Just give the details and ask for the solution. Okay, that is what you're writing a complaint or a letter of complaint or a formal letter. Comes the third paragraph. Third paragraph, you're asking for you're mentioning a solution. Say, for example, you have been delivered something wrong. So, what solution do you ask from the company? Say, I was replacement of the 
want they want replacement of the product i want repairing of the product i want a, i want a, another product which is brand new so these are your solution that you are going to give in the third factor now if you are dealing with the social problem say for example in your area the drainage system has been blocked and you are writing to the municipality corporation asking for the maintenance proper maintenance of this drainage system for there you can ask for solution that what would have been the solution we could ask uh, the municipal corporation to constantly announce not to throw garbages in the uh, drainage system or what what else what else the citizen can what, what steps the citizens can take so uh, all these things you can put in that solution paragraph and do not again write unnecessary thing to make it look longer there is no need to make it longer it should be neat it should be to the point there is no word limit of it so it should be crisp and it should be like uh, at once i think one glance it should carry away your heart the examiner's heart or ask for a solution and close the letter with gratitude please ask please use the words like obliged kind please all these kind of words should be used in the third paragraph so this is how the body of letter is now coming to the closing in the closing we would write thank you exactly below the finding ending of the left hand side margin you end the sentence somewhere in the middle again you come back to the left hand side margin and you write thank you over there and just below it you write yours sincerely exactly below thank you do not just make a staircase over there thank you over there then little gap then sincerely then little gap then your name no need to make that staircase nobody is climb up nobody is going to climb up that staircase so do not make a formation of staircase over there just keep it one below the other neat and clean and elab no chance of elaboration crisp and short okay. then comes the sender's name just below no leaving of lines just below you sincerely comes the sender's name and below it the signature now if any post of you has been given in the question then you can keep that post say for example you are writing as the manager of one company so you are going to write your name then your signature and then you are going to write down manager of this and that company if it is mentioned in the question paper if it is not mentioned there is no need of giving any designation okay now i will uh, give you some tips about how to write this kind of uh, complaint letters although this please keep this points in mind otherwise you may mess it up so the number one point is although the motive of the complaint letter is to vent our grievances and frustration it is imperative that you use a tone which is polite and simple it is instructed to you that you use a very polite and simple words and simple tone and no disrespectful or offensive words are to be used make sure that you introduce yourself properly properly in the first paragraph in the first paragraph do not forget to introduce yourself properly if you do not introduce yourself properly your complaints would not be lodged properly like you are, if you have a customer id you should give that you should give your name properly written whole so that it is easy to track you down if they want to solve your problem number 3 is the purpose of writing should be loud and clear that means the subject should be very clear okay do not deviate from the topic of the and write to the point that is what i said there is no need to be uh, very much elaborate about your uh, thing you don't have to tell them stories they are not your children or they are not your friends so be very to the point and do not deviate from the topic which you are referring to next is make sure you adhere to the format as it carries marks i told you if you write the format you will get one mark but if you do not adhere to the format if you do not maintain the format the whole marks will be gone because the impression of the examiner who is checking the copy is gone for your copy now okay. this number 6 underline the subject of the letter with the pencil also underlining the main point is very important when you should be writing the subject for the letter underlining the main points is very important but it is advisable that you after finishing your exam then you do it you do not underline each and every word in the uh, 
uh, better and then you cannot finish out finish out all the answers after you finish your examination when you revising the whole thing then you use a pencil and a scale to underline the subject and some important points like like say if you are writing to a bank then you are account book if you are writing to a company then you are order book so all these things you underline them definitely 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 underline the subject and please do not underline the pen it looks very untidy as you all have the habit of to magnetic and pen color so let's do it with a pen please no a big n o for that you are going to use pencil and scale to underline the subject seven is when you add a great number of lines between paragraphs to make it look clean presentation is really important keep that thing always in your mind now here i have one uh, example of a letter for you which you can do and go together with me so that i can explain it further to you write a letter to the managing secretary of oxford publishing house london company that the goods sent by them were not those which were ordered for ask for replacement you are varun joshi sector 20 chandigarh so you are varun joshi of sector 20 chandigarh varun or varuna that doesn't matter they will give you two names in the examination so first as i said first is the center's address so examination hall you are writing from that is right here is for the examination hall sector 20 chandigarh next one line gap date one line gap recipient's address one line gap subject is c no b a t e d is written over here but the s u b j e c t subject is there and this is complaint regarding receipt of wrong set of books 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 words please do not exceed the limit of 12 words max to max next comes the body as they are writing to a company they have not used the word respected they have only written sir or madam as you don't know who is what is the gender of the person sitting there that is why sir or madam next is on february this see the details on february this i for joshi is to be got a book set order number this to be delivered to chandika sector 20 Finished first paragraph over. Now coming to second paragraph. To my dismay, I have received the set I ordered for, and have instead received the wrong set of books. I am highly disappointed. I would uh, to resolve the problem. I would appreciate it if you could replace the wrong book set with the one originally ordered. Please let me know. So what is the solution? He is wanting. He is wanting the replacement of the original books ordered. Please let me know as soon as what action, as soon as possible. What action you propose to take? I take forward to hear. I look forward to hearing from you within ten days. This is also very important. If you give them a, a tenure of time duration, like I want the answer within this period of time, then it will be easy for them to work and easy for us to uh, take a note of whether it is being done or not. We cannot wait for a long time asking asking for solution. So we should also set a duration of time within which we need the work to be done. Next is enclosed are copies of transaction documents and receipt. I look forward for your reply and resolution of my problem. You can wait until the aforementioned time before seeking help from a consumer protection agency. That is what that is what I was talking about. The consumer protection agency or the consumer forum or the Better Business Bureau. Please contact me at the above address. Though he is, she is very angry. He is or she is, is very angry. He is using the word please at the above address or by phone at then the number you will give like this. Then comes sincerely for Joshi. Enclosures, enclosures means what are the documents I am dealing with? It copy of receipt and transaction documents. Okay. Now these are some phrases that you may find find handy while writing a formal letter or writing a complaint letter, which I have listed down for you. They are to my dismay, disappointed, appreciated, enclosed or enclosure. Look forward to your reply. Resolution to my problem. Aforementioned information. Seeking help. Considering the depth of the situation. 
as awakened or concerned citizen. These are a few important phrases or few handy phrases which you can use for formal letters or letter of complaints. Okay, so I hope this letter of complaint is clear to you and you will find it uh, helpful when you're going to write it down. I have one question for you over here, which is you are Sanjeev or Sanjeeva of 122 Arun Nagar, New Delhi. A number of scooters and cars are parked in your locality without your order, causing blockage of the streets. Write a letter to the local secretary of the Residents Association complaining against this problem. So this will be your homework.